Hello, and welcome to the Orlando World Sunday Showdown round of 64. In this week's episode, we see Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean boat ride, go head-to-head -head with Universal's raft ride, Popeye and Bluto's build rat barges, for a place in the round of 32. Let's get to it. Pirates of the Caribbean is a dark boat ride attraction, situated in the Adventureland area of Disney's Magic Kingdom. It opened on the 15th of December, 1973. The attraction was built on the back of the popularity of It's a Small World, using a similar ride system. After boarding a small boat at Lafitte's landing on the outskirts of New Orleans, your boat plunges down two waterfalls, the second taking you back in time. You enter Dead Man's Cove, where you meet pirates who died long ago and seem to be frozen in time. Your boat then journeys into the ghostly grotto, where you are transported further back in time to the days, when the very pirates you met in Dead Man's Cove, are invading a small Caribbean seaport village in search of the town's treasure and the infamous Captain Jack Sparrow. As you wind through the town, you find Captain Jack lurking around in search of the treasure himself. The boat passes an auction, where the pirates bid for a bride, as more pirates ransack every nook and cranny of the village just around the corner. To escape the burning village, you float past the town jail and to where pirates take target practice all around your boat, completely oblivious to the dangers all around them. When you find Captain Jack Sparrow at the town's treasure vault, he offers you, his shipmates, a share of the booty before venturing up the waterfall at the end of your voyage, you return to the time and place where your journey began. Meanwhile, Popeye and Bluto's build rat barges offers a very different boat ride, where the potential for an absolute socking is almost virtually guaranteed. The ride opened on the 28th of May, 1999, at Universal's Islands of Adventure, and was located in the Toon Lagoon section of the park. It's a river rafting water ride, based on the characters of the Popeye franchise, and features riders going on a river tour organized by Popeye, only for Bluto to send the riders off course into dangerous waters as a distraction, while he once again kidnaps olive oil. The attraction shared similar parts of a ride system that was used on Dudley Do Right's Ripsaw Falls, which was located next to the ride. With a high drop and lots of bumpy water rapids, the rafts offered a thrilling ride through the heavily themed attraction, with dozens of spots along the route giving riders a heavy spray of water. The 12 seat barges travel approximately 16 feet per second, surging through the orange rock walled canyon, crashing left and right through the twisting rapids. The vessel spins from side to side, racing uncontrollably down the watery valley, bouncing over the white caps. Tidal like waves crash over the tops of riders' seats, and throughout various points, pipes and sockers continue the water assault on riders. Both attractions offer a completely different ride experience. So, let's find out which of this week's attraction comes out on top and advances to the round of 32. Let's head straight into round 1. Pirates of the Caribbean was the last attraction Walt Disney himself participated in designing. The pirate-themed boat ride opened at Disney's Magic Kingdom in a golden Spanish fort called Castillo del Moro, which was inspired by the Castillo de San Felipe del Moro in the old San Juan in San Juan. Recent revamps to the ride now include Captain Jack Sparrow from the hit Disney films. The ride does a fantastic job of transporting guests into a world of pirates in the West Indies of the 1700s, when Spain brought gold from the New World back home and pirates ruled the waters. The architecture resembles the 18th century West Indies. As you enter the attraction, the walkway to the boat is long and winding with low lighting immediately setting the tone for the main attraction. Pirates of the Caribbean features Captain Jack Sparrow and his nemesis Barbossa from the Pirates of the Caribbean series of films. You'll find boy serious pirates drinking and looting and even chasing a redhead, travel through the pirate grotto, the galleon with Captain Barbossa, the town square, burning city and the dungeon. There's lots to see with 125 audio animatronics figures, including 65 pirates and villagers and 60 animals and birds, all adding to the illusion of being in an 18th century world with pirates. Despite being almost five decades old, the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction has one of the best themes for any Disney ride, and shows why the ride has been a fan favorite in the Magic Kingdom for so long. Popeye and Bluto's Build Rat Barges is also suitably themed, situated in Toon Lagoon at Islands of Adventure. 
The Raft Ride is designed in the over-the-top caricature style that is widely used in the cartoon world, with wacky inventions, water pumps, water wheels and a rickety looking waterway, which is designed to be both crazy and fun. On entering the ride queue, you're immediately faced with some cartoon style theming, depicting a boating dock, which has been strategically detoured by Popeye's arch nemesis, Bluto. The detour leads to Bluto's bilge rat barges instead of Popeye's paradise cruises. The theming throughout the ride is well appointed, with themed areas with the characters, leading to the rescue of olive oil, spread out throughout the raft course. Both Popeye and Bluto's bilge rat barges and parts of the Caribbean rides are heavily themed, and depict their respective properties perfectly. However, although the Popeye raft ride is unbelievably fun and is a great representation of the cartoon, some of the theming at points may be slightly overlooked, given the fast pace and spinning rafts of the attraction. Pirates of the Caribbean is a slower pace, giving you more time to take in and appreciate the theme and storyline of the attraction. So, the first round, for theme and storyline, just narrowly goes to Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's move on now to round 2. Pirates of the Caribbean ride was a slow-paced attraction with a duration of eight and a half minutes. The boats cruise along peacefully, allowing guests to take in the full attraction, which has several scenes where there are dozens of interactions going on at any one time. The attraction makes good use of the long ride time, keeping you intrigued from start to finish. This is a much different pace to Popeye and Bruto's Build Rat Barges, which has a ride time of six minutes. The barges travel at speeds of up to 16 feet per second, and unlike the calming sail of the pirate boats, the ride sends riders down wild rapids for the majority of the ride. The six-minute ride is more thrilling for the duration. But as an overall experience, Pirates of the Caribbean takes the second round, being the longer and more interesting of the two. Let's move on now to Ride 3. Pirates of the Caribbean is one of the higher capacity rides at Magic Kingdom, capable of entertaining up to 2,600 guests per hour. There can be up to 50 boats travelling through the ride at any one time, each carrying up to 24 people. This is a bit more than what the Bilge Rat Barge ride could handle. With a capacity of 2,400, using approximately 35 rafts per cycle. So, the third round again goes the way of Pirates of the Caribbean, which take a three-point lead going into round four. In terms of thrills, although the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is themed perfectly, and is enjoyable, it isn't as thrilling as other theme park water rides. The ride does have a 14-foot drop, where you may get a little wet, but mostly the ride sails through fairly slowly. This is where Popeye and Bluto's build rat barges has an advantage, as with the unpredictable nature of the raft ride, brings a little more excitement in terms of thrill factor. With the spinning and rocking of the rafts, and the added feature of being soaked, making it a little more thrilling. So the Islands of Adventures attraction claims the point in this round. Into the final round we go, where we look at the length of service operations for both attractions. Pirates of the Caribbean has been a popular attraction at Magic Kingdom for close to five decades, seeing some upgrades over the years. It continues to impress fans of the franchise to this day. Popeye and Bluto's Bilge Rat Barges has only been open for less than half the time, opening with Islands of Adventure in 1999. The Pirates of the Caribbean takes the fifth and final round, with an impressive 46 years of service. So, after all five rounds, we do have a clear winner.
Pirates of the Caribbean is safely through to the next round. Did your favorite attraction advance to the next round? Do you agree with the result? Let us know in the comments. Tune in next week, where we see Skull Island, Reign of Congo head to head with Test Track. See you next week, bye for now. We hope you enjoy this video, please support us by subscribing to our channel. You can find us on social media platforms, find us on Facebook and Twitter at Orlando Worlds, and on Instagram at The Orlando Worlds. Thanks for watching.